hello python programmers so this is the video 7th of machine learning with python video series and in this video i'm going to show you that how you can handle the categorical data so first of all let's understand that what actually are categorical data so first of all let's understand this theoretically then i will explain you in reference to this database so when the values in a column are distinct from each other and they also don't have any numerical relationship between them then those data are called categorical data let's understand with this data set there you can see that this last origin column is having the categorical data the us japan and europe are different categories which are distinct from each other and they are also not having any numerical relationship between them now how are they distinct from normal data types there you can see that this cylinder is also having the categories of 4 6 numbers but they have a numerical relationship between them 6 is greater than 4 but we cannot say that us is greater than japan or japan is greater than us okay so now if you want to understand the types of data used in machine learning more clearly then i would suggest you to watch one of my previous video which was solely based on types of data used in machine learning and it will be very helpful for you because understanding the types of data will help you determine the machine learning algorithm for that data set okay so now i guess you understand what categorical data are now let's get to our notebook and start writing some code okay so now we are into our notebook so first of all what we'll do is we'll convert this data frame this is a data frame df is a data frame let me show you so there you can see that this is a data frame so first of all what we'll do is we'll convert this data frame into a numpy array so we'll create a df variable now if you are a regular viewer of my channel then you must be familiar with this commands like i lock and type because i have already discussed this in my pandas and numpy video if you haven't seen that i'll provide the link in the i button and also in the description okay so now let's see how our df variable is looking first let's run this code and let's see how our df is looking and there you can see this is our numpy array okay so now let me explain you the flow of execution for handling the categorical data first of all we are going to label our categories let's say that us is 1 japan is 2 and europe is 3 then we'll encode this or we'll create different columns for each category because if we leave this row with the numerical representation of each category then python will consider them as numeric and will compare them like let's say that we give us as 1 japan as 2 and europe is 3 then python will think that europe is greater than japan and japan is greater than us which is not the case here so we'll create three uh, columns because we are having three categories here the number of columns will depend on the number of categories present and let's say that we are having 0 1 and 2 here now this is us and the numerical representation of us is 1 so in the zero column the value will be zero in the one column the value will be one and in the two column the value will be zero now the japan numerical representation is let's say two so in the zero column the value will be zero in the one the 
value will be 0 but in the second column the value will be 1 same for the Europe it will have the value in the third column okay so this is how we are gonna do the encoding so first of all we'll do the labeling part and for that we need to import the library label encoding from our sklearn dot preprocessing package now we'll create a variable let's say country and we'll save with the label encoder class let's say country and country is equal to label now we are gonna select the column in which we are gonna implement this uh, label encoder for us this is the eighth column uh, let me see okay so zero one two three four five six seven eight okay so for me this is the eighth column i'll also provide the uh, database the github link will be provided in the description okay so let's apply the label encoder to our eighth column and then we'll also transform or we'll also change our numpy array okay so if you are confused with this uh, slicing method then I would highly recommend you to watch one of my older videos where I have explained you this um, this slicing I'll provide all the link in the description okay okay so now let's see how our df uh, numpy array is looking and there you can see our last column has been changed with the numerical representation for that category let's see okay so us has been replaced by the numerical value 2 and uh, europe and let's see europe is replaced by 0 and i guess japan is replaced by 1 okay so we are done with the label encoder now let's move on to the second step and the final step which is to finally use the one hot encoder to encode this final column okay so we'll import our libraries first okay so you're gonna make sure that you are writing the correct spelling here because python is cane sensitive here c and t are capital and this h and e are capital okay if you write wrong you will get an error okay so let's create a variable ct which will contain the column transform of the encoding of our eighth column now this column transform is a very handy method you can also do this uh, label encoding using this column transform but i haven't done that because i don't want to confuse you with too many parameters in a single command okay so i have created a separate one for this uh, label encoding and a separate for one hot encoding okay previously we were not having this column transform we were only using the one hot encoding many of the tutorials present online is having only the one hot encoding column transform has been introduced very recently you can still use the one hot encoder but it will throw a warning that in future one hot encoder will be replaced so consider using the column transform so i'm creating the tutorial for the latest method which is the column transform method now this column transform class will accept two parameters first is transformer and the second is remainder now this transformer uh, parameter can 
accept multiple operations that you can perf that you want to perform on your column we are gonna give only one parameter which is one hot encoding because we only want to do one hot encoding to our column you can provide this label encoding also here if you want to do all in one single command and inside the transformer uh, parameter you will give three uh, parameters first is the name you can give any name here i have given in code because it's relevant you can give anything here abracadabra abc anything here the second parameter is the type of transform that you want to perform we are gonna do one hot encoding and the third parameter is the column indexing now the second parameter is the remainder there are two possible values first is pass through and second is drop so we will do pass through here and we are having an error column transform is not defined definitely a spelling mistake and finally this command is working so we have done all the transform here let's fit this into our df numpy array so we'll again create a variable let's say y and ct the variable in which all the transform has been saved and this is throwing a warning and we'll simply ignore the warning and if we print our y uh, variable here there you can see that we have created three columns here for each category now let me make this in a data f uh, in a data frame so that it's more visually appealing okay so this is it this was the output we were looking for we have different columns for different uh, categories now we can very easily perform any operation on this data set so yeah this is it for this video and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll talk about the splitting of data set into test and train so i'll meet you there bye bye